Welcome to Soothing Pods Meditation. In today's meditation, we will be exploring the notion of failures, taking a closer look at what failures really are and how we might navigate them with grace. To begin, bring yourself to a comfortable seated position as usual. You might like to take a gentle stretch here first before settling into stillness. Straighten the spine, relax your arms, and gently close your eyes. Draw your attention to the earth beneath you, making note of each part of you that is in contact with the surface that holds you. You might like to imagine that there are invisible roots extending from your sit bones and into the earth, traveling deep into the rich soil beneath whatever space you find yourself in. Allow these roots to take up nourishment from this dense, vibrant soil, enhancing your sense of strength, stability, and vitality. With each inhalation, you absorb positive energy, both from the earth and the air around you, deepening your sense of peace and presence. Allow any visions of your roots to be released now as you tune into the natural rhythm of your breath. And as you breathe, see if you might soften the belly, allowing the nourishing air to fill you completely. And as you exhale, allow the shoulders to soften a little bit more and the forehead to gently melt into peace. Take a few more slow and steady breaths on your own now as we prepare to move deeper into today's exploration. Consider for a moment what you believe it means to fail. Does failure come with wrongdoing? Does it equate to weakness, shame, or guilt? The answer might not be so straightforward often depending upon the particular event or experience in question. However, how often do we equate failure with opportunity or with growth? For most of us, it is not that often. However, when we open ourselves up to the truth that our perceived failures are opportunities to learn, to evolve, and to find a new approach, we slowly start to soften any fears we hold about failure. And it might inspire us to pick ourselves back up and carry on with courage and self-compassion. A well-known quote by Samuel Beckett reads, Ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again, fail again, fail better. These words come as a reminder that failure is not an end point. It is a new beginning. And though we might fail again in some way at a future date, the cycle of opportunity and growth continues. So I invite you to settle into this further now 
quietly exploring your own beliefs and experiences of failure. Grounding back into your body through awareness of the earth and the breath, take a moment to arrive once again. Now, I invite you to open your mind in compassionate inquiry, considering a time in your life when something didn't go as planned, a time you made a mistake, or a time that you weren't prepared. As thoughts arise in your mind, open your heart to whatever presents itself knowing that this is a safe and secure space to explore what lives within. And if at any point this becomes too challenging or difficult to look at, return your attention to the earth beneath you. As you consider one of these moments in your life when something didn't turn out as you had hoped, I invite you to non-judgmentally reflect upon what might have unveiled itself or grown within you because of this perceived failure. Consider what you might have learned from this experience. If the lesson is not so clear, that's okay. Simply sit with whatever your perceived failures might be blessing them with your love and kindness. You might also like to silently repeat the affirmation, I love myself unconditionally. I love myself unconditionally. Now take just a few more moments with whatever is present here, and then return your attention to the natural ebb and flow of your breath. As we close this meditation, turn your attention to the earth beneath you, thanking it for its support. And when you are ready, softly open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's meditation. See you again.